And uh, replays uh, that were taken uh, from uh, one of the uh, search and recovery helicopters as uh, the Soyuz uh, was in the final seconds uh, before touchdown. This ought to give us a good view of the soft landing engines firing just a second or two before touchdown. Soft landing engines firing again in this replay uh, from video shot uh, from one of the search and recovery helicopters as uh, the Soyuz descended towards a bullseye landing at 8.13 p.m. Central Time, 7.13 a.m. Uh, at the landing site on Wednesday morning in South Central Kazakhstan. And another replay uh, as we watch uh, the Soyuz uh, descend uh, to its touchdown. Another view uh, in which you'll see the soft landing engines fire. Again, uh, those soft landing engines fire just a couple of seconds uh, before touchdown uh, in a final braking maneuver. Within minutes after touchdown, uh, the three crew members had uh, been extracted from the Soyuz spacecraft, which actually was pulled over onto its side. Uh, not unusual uh, for a Soyuz landing. Uh, this uh, video uh, taken from one of the all-terrain vehicles that uh, sped towards uh, the spacecraft uh, in the uh, operation that is coordinated by the Rosaviatsa Search and Recovery Forces. You can see some of the helicopters in the distance about uh, to land uh, next to the capsule. It's uh, with the hatch up or sideways. Hello? Oh. Sir, get over there. You can approach it from uh, either side. Which side is better? Approach from here, from the left. Let me jump out. Again, this is a uh, video replay of activities that occurred uh, within the last hour, within minutes after the touchdown of the Soyuz TMA 20M spacecraft that brought home Jeff Williams, Alexei Ovchina, and, and Alex Kropochka after 172 days in space and aboard the International Space Station.
Let's go. Again, uh, this is video uh, that was shot uh, by uh, members of the search and recovery forces at the landing site of the Soyuz TMA-20M spacecraft. Uh, the uh, Soyuz landed right on target and right on time at uh, 8.13 p.m. Central Time, 7.13 a.m. in Kazakhstan on Wednesday morning.